Good morning guys. I say morning, it's very early morning. It's currently like 3 a.m. Yeah, 3am. We've all made it downstairs to the lobby in time and I'm very proud of us as a collective four. Um, it was a bit of a struggle, kind of snoozing the alarms this morning since two. Uh, but it's all good. We're here, we're very excited. And we were looking last night, at, um, well Mike sent us a link in the group saying that some flights have been cancelled um, with Skyjet. Uh, luckily we with Seb Go and it seems that less flights get cancelled with them. Uh, we're hoping we get to the airport, it all works out perfectly fine. There's no cancelled flights and we can make it to the tennis today. Uh, we're super excited. Um, but Jordan's is getting a grab now. We're going to get some breakfast and coffee at the airport. <laughs> Thanks for your input, George. I'll let you know if I need any more of that. <laughs> Woken up a little bit more now. It is 5.30 a.m. Haven't been up this early for a very long time. I'm repping the double, double do the thing merch. A lot of you guys are asking about hoodies. Hoodies are not actually released yet or out. Um, we haven't really spoke about designing hoodies or bringing those out, but if you think it's a good idea, let us know in the comments. Um, these are just ours that we have made up anyway that we wear. Is it? I'm still a little bit tired. We've had a coffee, we've had some food. Um, the flight's two hours, we're gonna get a couple of hours of Game of Thrones in. Lucy's been editing up the vlog here whilst we've been, um, whilst we've been waiting to board. I think they're calling us any minute now. Weather's good, flight has not been canceled. has just risen uh, we're getting on a little bus now where's our plane somewhere in that direction I think and I think it's a two-hour flight to get there there was um, an airline called Skyjet is that right Skyjet yeah. um, and we noticed last night that some flights of theirs were cancelled yesterday uh, but the Sebgo ones are all good so I'm glad we booked with them although it's a two-hour longer flight and it was like 20 pounds more each way I think we'd rather choose reliability over like a tiny little cost difference um, but yeah, so excited to get on this flight and I'm glad we're flying in in the daytime as well so we can kind of see the place as we, as we fly in because um, I think sometimes when you fly somewhere at night you don't know what it looks like until you wake up in the morning being able to get a view of it from above will kind of give you that you get your bearings a bit easier so yeah, it's all good. It is now 25 minutes past the hour of 8 in the morning. Your feet are now to be up just 9 to 10 minutes ahead of our scheduled time of arrival. So supposedly there's 17,000 population here, which uh, got told this morning. But this airport is, I've never seen an airport like this ever in my life. It's almost more like a gift shop. Or a, like a, a garden centre. Like a garden, yeah, there's like a nice Isn't little, ah, uh, oh, they've got their welcome. Because nice. Mike and Ellie are staying in a different hotel, guys, just so you know. They booked a little bit before us, and when we went to book ours, all the rooms had sold out. So we're in a different place, they got their pick up. I think our hotel's like four or five minutes away from each other. Look, look, there's a little, little goldfish pond. 
Um, everyone just chilling. No idea where we get our luggage, but um, I'm sure we'll sure we'll find out. <laughs> Interesting development. Trying to get out of the airport. No luggage. The plane left without a ton of people's luggage. We've got one of two suitcases. Luckily, I've got clothes. Lucy can wear my t-shirt. We have our toiletries. Nelly and Mike sadly don't have any of their bags, and they've just been told. It was a weight restriction on the aircraft, which seems weird. Like, I don't know why they would take off without everyone's luggage. Everyone's paid for luggage. There's only a certain number of people on the plane. You'd think they'd be able to work that out. Um, they've just told us the luggage is coming on the same flight tomorrow morning and will be delivered to our hotel. We're being given a thousand pesos of compensation per bag um, to go and buy some clothes and stuff. So there's, there's quite a lot of angry people here, to be honest with you right now. But one of those things, one of those things that happens, you gotta uh, navigate these situations. We have a ride. We do. All Come right, here. let's go. <sighs> All right, guys, little update for you. Please excuse how I look. I've just woken up from about an hour's nap because we needed to quickly get a, a bit of sleep in uh, before we go and explore. Because we kind of, I don't know if you guys know the feeling, but when you're so tired, you feel a little bit sick because you're like lacking so much sleep. You must have had like two hours sleep last night because we couldn't sleep for a little while, but feeling much better now after a quick nap. Um, also just finished editing up the vlog and we're gonna start that uploading hopefully, well soon, as soon as it's exported, we'll start uploading. And fingers crossed, the wi is quick enough on our smart sims or on the globe thing, we'll try both out, uh, see which one works best. But I really hope that the video will be on tonight. We've got, it's one o'clock now, so we've got quite a few hours until we should be publishing. Uh, it should be fine, it should be fine. Let me quickly show you around where we're staying as well. So we're staying somewhere that's kind of, if you imagine this is a town, this is the airport. Uh, I say the town, but Basco is the name of the place. Um, it's very small still. There's a few restaurants, a few hotels. It's not really like a town. I'd say it's a little village. Uh, that's just here. The uh, airport's here and Mike and Ellie are staying kind of near that. And then we're staying the other side of the town, which makes it sound like we're really far away from each other, but it's actually a 14 minute walk. So that shows you the scale of how big this place is. If there's a point uh, right at the other side of the island that you can go, go to on a motorcycle, 30 minute trip. So it's quite a small place to get around. Um, we're just trying to actually sort out uh, a way of getting a, um, a scooter to hire while we're here. Uh, Finn messaged me earlier saying it's 1,500 pesos per day, which is the most expensive I've seen anywhere in the Philippines. Um, I'd say average is like 300 to 600 I've paid before. Uh, per day, so it's kind of pricey, but she's trying to see. Um, I said, Have you got any scooter rental? and she was like, Hmm, like she didn't quite understand. And then she said, Oh no, there might be one, but it's really far away. Um, but I don't know, I'm not too sure because when I when I, <laughs> I googled scooter rental, uh, press search and it threw me to Taiwan. There's a, that, that, this, that is the closest place to rent a scooter from here. So, I mean, I don't think we'd make any trips to Taiwan today to get a scooter, but hopefully they can sort us out. Otherwise we can use tricycles and stuff while we're here um, to go and explore. But yeah, the place we're staying in, it's very basic. It's very, um, it's just literally on like a normal residential street, just like a little house. It looks like any other house and it's got a few rooms that you can stay in. So I'd say it's more like a guest house. Uh, when we got here, George got some food um, and the lady just basically made him a breakfast as though it's like, you're staying at someone's house um, and not actually a hotel if that makes sense so it's really nice very simple double bed air conditioning and a fan which is good because it's super hot I've turned the aircon off to film this clip because it's so noisy and I'm already getting hot again and yeah I'll just show you around quick because like we said in yesterday's video Mike and Ellie booked um, a bit more of a nicer place I don't remember like three star place it's got like a swimming pool and stuff it looks really nice from photos um, but when we went to look at our accommodation that place is already booked up I've had quite a few others but we said it's all good we'll save money um, this is like a third of the price which is really good um, for what you're getting as well uh, and we get breakfast here every day so it's good so just got a little sofa bed thing down here one suitcase uh -uh. Uh, the bed just here aircon unit fan uh, mirror wardrobe and then just a toilet in here so it's all good it's got everything we need and then we're gonna just freshen up quick and then head out for some lunch and see what this place is about but we're picking a very bad time of day to go up because it's now super super hot but I think the average temperature here right now is about 25 degrees, so it's much cooler than Manila. It should be nice. This is the place we're staying. Tiny little house, amazing view of the mountain there with the cloud coming over it. Lighthouse over here, which we will definitely explore at some point, either today or tomorrow. But for now, we need lunch. 
someone has your sauce now. No luggage means I'm now wearing George's shirts so when I get sunburned because I was only wearing a little top before. Uh, but bike all oh sorted. God. It's beautiful, isn't Negotiation it? Negotiation skills intact. Ding. He was a really nice guy though, so we didn't we so didn't push nice. too hard. We got him down like 100 pesos a day. He uh, said, um, but motor, well, let's all wait it inside, I think. All we're right, we're here in a really nice place for lunch. Yes. Octagon. Um, amazing view of the sea. We're yeah. so happy to be here, so excited. Literally that little drive there, we were just smiling the whole way, weren't we? It's so amazing. So nice. Sadly, this place is closed for lunch, but we might come back for dinner because it's a really nice spot right on the sea. It's we're lit. getting our first taste here of what all the fuss is about here. What we've seen photos of, videos of, absolutely stunning. People in the oh, this sea, is so, look. so cool. Yeah, there's people oh, in the sea. Oh my gosh. Green hills, the lighthouse over there, which is very well known you see it in all the photos so so happy to be here i was just saying to myself i was about to say saying to lucy definitely wasn't was saying <laughs> to myself really good to be in like a really laid back place again um, after a week in manila we love manila but it's nice to it's like you come here and there's no worries it's so peaceful you just go and eat nice food and drive around really really happy to be here special special place Guys, we've just driven up here. Look at this view. We weren't even expecting this. We're just trying to find some food. I am blown away, officially. You can see from the point we're at now, if we turn around in a second, you can see the other part of the island from here and this side at the same time. This is so peaceful up here as well. But there is a bit of a big cloud coming. Wow, just look at this place. We knew it'd be stunning, but I don't think we were quite ready for this. Hello. Hello. See the clouds coming over the mountain. We've gained quite a lot of height in a short period of time, but look at this. Welcome to Batanis. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Absolutely insane. Tucon now. It was one of the best rated places on the island. When we looked it up, we were like, oh, that's a shame. It's so far away. Um, I don't think we can make it there today, but it was like a 12 minute drive, including stopping for some Instagram photos. So we're all good. to the same guy who uh, is we rented the motorbike off. Such a small kind of town, village, everyone knows each other. Come up to the lighthouse now, it looks so nice, but we're so happy to be here. Everyone's friendly, smiling at us, saying hello. There's loads of cute kids running around. Really, really nice atmosphere. Um, we're gonna watch sunset from here. Nelly and Mike are joining us shortly. Oh, it already looks absolutely incredible. I was just saying to Lucy that if you've been watching the vlogs, you know we've been in cities a lot lately. We've been in Manila, 
Tokyo, Seoul. So it's so, so nice to get back to pure nature, peace, quiet, fresh air. And it literally water. doesn't get any greener than this place. Yeah, absolutely incredible. You guys ready for a sunset? Yes. 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 The best ever. So nice. <laughs> Look at that. So really looking forward to this. Beautiful. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. I forgot to leave. 